Okay, here we are. We're going to do a um, quick little scene with some shadows and a cone. So I've got my same scene from last week. What I did to the cube, though, if you'll notice here, I divided the um, bottom uh, and the top by drawing diagonals to find the center line. So here's a diagonal, here's a diagonal, there's one, and there's one. And that gave me my center line, <clears throat> which is running right up the middle of this thing. And then I fit an oval into the bottom. Whoops, wrong layer. There we go. Uh, just touching all four edges. So there's my oval. And now I've got the center mast of my oval. And basically, when you think about a cone, all I need to do is um, connect from the apex, the very point of it, out to a tangent point on the two lines. So let's just do that. And actually, let's make that a little darker and black. Okay, so you're with me so far, right? Okay, so there is a cone, a three-dimensional cone. Now, we're going to cast a shadow, and I'll show you shading on the cone afterwards, but we're going to cast a shadow, and let's just do the quick quick and easy, dirty uh, version where we're casting it out. Um, let's go to the other side, just so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to turn off that myself a new layer and new color. All right, so our quick and dirty one is where we just go off horizontally, right? So I'm going off parallel to the edges of the of this circle because that's the way the, the cone is being projected. But we'll find out we don't really need that. All we need is the, the center pole, the center flagpole goes out. And from the very tip, I want to decide my angle. Let's say, oh, I don't know, there. And then because the light is running off in this direction, now I've got a flagpole. All I need to do is connect these two edges tangent to the circle. And there's the shadow. So let's shade that in. All right, but now some of this is going behind the cone, so let's um, do this. Let's change our color. I'm just going to redraw the visible parts of the cone. Oops. That's a little wobbly. And since we're doing this freehand, very wobbly. All right, so now I can get rid of all this stuff behind here, right? Now, you, like I said, actually didn't really even need these lines. So there's my cone in its shadow. So if that's the, you know, if the light source is now coming from this direction, um, and we see this kind of tangent point about right there, we know that this back half of the cone is going to be more in shadow. So there's the kind of transition point between shade and light. And uh, let's see if I can just do this. Okay, I'm totally cheating here because you're not supposed to do... Um, well, the, the airbrush doesn't... The, the cone needs to taper. Up at that point, everything's going to get sharper and crisper. So when I just did this airbrush, it's a constant thickness running all the way up the cone. And that's not how that it would actually shadow. Um, so let's go back to our pencil. And I know that this is the point where, I don't think I can do that with this though. Let's see if it go a little thicker. Let me get a different tool here. I want like a crayon here, let's try this. Ugh, terrible. Here we go. Here we go. That's one. So what's going to happen is up at the top of this, it's going to have very, uh, very tight shading, and then it's going to kind of fan out towards the base. And let's get a little bigger. And we're still going to have that kind of reflected light coming from the backside and be more, our core is going to be 
kind of in this center portion. A little bit of the reflected light coming off the table. Now this is not great, but I'll give a little bit of a turning edge there too. So there's a cone and a shadow. Let's go back to our scene. And try a different shadow. All right, so now let's do, um, I'm going to do a shadow, what time? Uh, sunlight shadow going, uh, let's say the sun is behind me, okay? So, and I want to try to get this to cast a shadow onto the cylinder a little bit, so. I really, I'm, I'm actually not going to do that right now. I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a different place just so I can show you. Okay, so I'm just picking a direction right now, an arbitrary direction. This is going off, this is the direction that my shadow is going off. Somewhere, this is my um, shadow vanishing point right here on the horizon. And now I need to bring the um, angle down. And so again, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna go from the tip here and say, I want my shadow to be about that long. So that's the flagpole, but I need to continue this down to a point directly below that shadow vanishing point. So this is my direction, shadow direction, and this is the vanishing point. Now, I also, this is gonna be a little problematic on this cube that's here, or cylinder, because most of this is gonna be behind the, uh, let's just do the cone right now. So here's a flagpole. Um, we've got our direction. Again, here's this kind of interesting thing. All we need is the tip of this to a tangent edge, and then over to this tangent edge, and there's the shadow of that cone. And the part that's behind the... Um, so there it is going off in the distance. And let me see if I can even do, if you'll see any of this. Yeah, this entire shadow from this other object will be behind the object. So it's not even worth drawing it. So let's, let's do another, um, just turn that off. Let's do it again. Now we're gonna go off a little bit more to the side and we're gonna do a, sunlight that's I'm just picking a point here let's try this so now the Sun is in the picture and um, I'm gonna increase my canvas size because I want to want to draw this in here All right, so sun's in the picture. The closer you get to the ground, the more long and distorted the shadows are going to be. So I'm going to go up, a, try to go up a little bit high. Let's go all the way up here. Okay, so in this case, this would actually be the sun. I'd see the sun in my picture. Of course, we know the sun is not blue. There, look at that, hot day. And let's go back to red for a minute. All right, so I just want to get that in the picture. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the sunlight point through the top of my flagpole and then through the base And there's the beginning of my shadow for my uh, cylinder. Again, going from that point out, tangent to the circle, tangent to the circle. And there's the shadow now forward of that cylinder. This portion of it will be more in shadow. 
And now let's do the, um, did I say cylinder? That cone. Let's do the cylinder. Uh, this cylinder is another one of those confusing things because I've got it a little bit squished. It's hard to see what's going on. Let's start with, um, let's, let's actually ignore the cylinder for a minute and do the cube just so we can see how this uh, works. So through the base of the cube, all four corners. And that back corner. And now I'm gonna change the color and go through the top sunlight source. Here's the top of this flagpole comes down to there. You guys all follow me so far? There. This one goes down to Oops, I'm doing that. I'm doing the cube, not the cylinder. There. Let's start with that. So these points should connect. Those points should connect. And then this line connects there around. Oops. There. And now Oops, and around there. So that's the shadow of the cube and a cone with the light source in the picture casting towards you a sunlight source. Um, and the last thing we need to do is a point light source, right? But let's stop this because it's going to get too long.